Good day everyone, I'm Sir RJ Layson, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about logic conditional statement or if-then statement. So our objectives for this lesson is we will define an inverse, converse, contrapositive of a conditional if-then statement. Classify the statement as inverse, converse, or contrapositive of conditional if-then statement. And relate the inverse, converse, and contrapositive of conditional if-then statement to real-life situations. Let us define first what is conditional statement. A logical statement has two parts, that is a conditional statement, a hypothesis, which is the antecedent or the P statement, and a conclusion uh, or consequent or the Q statement uh, is written in if then form. The if is the part contains the hypothesis and then is the part contains the conclusion. Symbolizes by P implies Q. So it's like an arrow sign but it will read as P implies Q. So let's have this example, conditional statement example. If a polygon is a triangle, then the sum of its angle measures is 180 degrees. Now again, uh, the, the if statement is the uh, hypothesis and the Q statement is the or after then statement that is your conclusion. So your hypothesis or your P is a polygon, a polygon is a triangle and your conclusion is the sum of its angle measures is 180 degrees. Another example we have here, instruction, we need to rewrite the conditional statement if and then form and then identify the hypothesis and conclusion. Number one, all birds have feathers. So we will write this one into F, if then form. So we have if an animal is bird, then it has feathers. So let us identify what is the hypothesis. Again, the hypothesis is after the if word. So an, an animal is bird, that is your hypothesis. And your conclusion is after your de then uh, word. So your conclusion here is it has feathers. That is your Q statement. Another example, a person who practice putting will improve her golf game. So if... A person practices putting, then she will get improved her golf game. So your hypothesis here is a person practices putting and your conclusion is she will improve her golf game. Another example, today is Monday, yesterday was Sunday. So we will change this one into if then statement. So if today is Monday, then yesterday was Sunday. So your hypothesis here is today is Monday and your conclusion here is yesterday was Sunday. So this is the truth table of the conditional statement. So uh, we already know how to make a truth table, diba. Right? So if you have a two statement, so that means your P statement will be true, true, false, false. Your Q statement will be alternate of true or false. So true, false, true, false. So this is the P implies Q or your conditional statement. Okay, you just need to remember if the consequent is true, then your P implies Q is automatically true. So your if your consequent or your conclusion part is true, that means automatically it's true. If your P implies Q is false, only when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. So you need to remember, ma false lang siya class if your P statement is true and your second statement or your Q statement or your conclusion is false. So that is false. So if the antecedent is false, then your P and Q statement is true. Generally class, you just need to remember if your P statement or your hypothesis is true and your Q statement or your conclusion is false, maolang na siya ang ma-false sa P implies Q. The rest are true. Again, ang sa ganito, if your uh, antecedent or your hypothesis is true, this one, 
and your Q statement or your consequent or your conclusion is false, that means your P implies Q is false. The rest are true na dyn class. So let's identify uh, what is a converse contrapositive no mga statements. So the negation of conditional that is converse. So formed by interchanging the hypothesis and conclusion in the conditional statement. So if Q, then P. So we have here, so instead of in the conditional statement, P implies Q. In converse, it will change into if Q, then P or Q implies P. In your inverse, is formed by negating both of the hypothesis and conclusion. So if not P, then not Q. So your orig original conditional statement is if P, then Q. Now in inverse, it will change to if not P, then not Q. So we have here not P implies not Q. And for the contrapositive statement, if is formed when interchanging the neg negating both of the hypothesis and the conclusion. So we have here if not Q, then not P. So it will change uh, it will be now not Q implies not P. So here in the direction state the conditional statements converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the following statement, then decide whether true or false. So we have here, let our P statement be your, you are a guitar player, and your Q statement will be, you are a musician. Write each statement in words. So in conditional statement, no? So uh, we have here, uh, P implies Q. If you are a guitar player, then you are a musician. That is true. Guitar players are musicians. So that is a true statement. Next, in converse statement, no, in converse statement, remember, it will change into uh, Q implies P or if Q, then P. So if you are a musician, then you are a guitar player. So that is false. Not all musicians play guitar. So some of them plays piano, uh, xylophone, flute, etc. So here, in contrapos uh, inverse statement, no, if you're going to use the inverse statement, so it will now uh, not P implies not Q. If you are not a guitar player, so that is the not P statement, then you are not a musician. So that is your not Q statement. That is false. Even you do not play a guitar, you can still be a musician. You can uh, you can play a uh, 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 bass, a piano, drums. Oh no. Then next that is the last one is contrapositive. So if you're not a musician, then you are not a guitar player. So that is not Q implies not P. That is true. A person who is not a musician cannot be a guitar player. Another example we have here. Let us identify, let us state the conditional statement, converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the following statement. Statement, an even number is divisible by 2. So your P statement here is an even number. Your uh, Q statement is divisible by 2. So your conditional statement, if, if it is in an even number, so you have here P implies Q, your P statement again, an even number, and your Q statement is divisible by 2. If it is an even number, then it is divisible by 2. Next, your converse, ibali lang ni mo class, Q implies P. So, if it is divisible by 2, then it is an even number. Next, we have inverse, so negate the conditional statement, so not P implies not Q. If it's not an even number, then it is not divisible by 2. Next one, we have contrapositive. So, interchange lang si inverse. So, not Q implies not P. If it is not divisible by 2, then it is not even number. Another example, state the conditional statement, converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the following statement. Statement, all basketball players are tall. So, your P statement, uh, uh, if you are a basketball player and then your Q statement is you are tall. 
So we have your conditional statement P implies Q. If you are a basketball player, then you are tall. Your converse statement is interchange lang si Q and P statement. So Q implies P. If you are tall, then you are a basketball player. Inverse is negating both not P and not Q or negating the conditional statement. So not P implies not Q. If you are not a basketball player, then you are not tall. Next, we have contrapositive. You just need to interchange the, uh, the inverse statement. So we have not Q implies not P. If you are not tall, then you are not a basketball player. So this is a truth, the truth table class of conditional statements. So atong hinahinayan class. So if you have two statements, P statement and Q statement. So uh, your P statement is true, true, false, false. And your Q statement is true, false, true, false. So we have here, we will identify the night, not P. So you just need to negate the uh, P statement. So if true here, your not P is false. True, false, false, true, false, true. Next, we need to negate the Q statement. So we have here focus in the Q statement. So not Q. If you are uh, true in Q, so your not Q is false. False, true, true, false, false, true. So we have here the conditional statement. Again, uh, what is the keyword, Gani? Or we need to take note if we uh, uh, determine the conditional statement or your if-then statement in the truth table. If your uh, P statement or your first statement is true and your st second statement is false, or again, your if your hypothesis is true and your conclusion is false, that means your P implies Q is false. Or your F then, if then statement is false. So we have here P implies Q. So focus in P and Q. So true, true, that is true. True, false. So we have here uh, your uh, P statement is true and your Q statement is false. So that means that is false. Then false, true, true, false, false, true. Next, in the converse, diba? interchange lang si Q and P statements so of Q implies P. So your first statement now or your hypothesis now is the Q statement and your conclusion is your P statement. So true, true, that is true. False, true, so that is true. So your first statement here is true and your second statement here is false. So that means that is false. And then false, false, that is true. Next, inverse. So the inverse is you just need to negate both a P statement and Q statement of the conditional statement. So focus here in the not P and the not Q. So we have here your first statement is not P and your second statement or is not Q. Or your hypothesis is not P and your conclusion is not Q. So false, false, true. False, true, that is true. True, so your first statement is true and your second statement is false. So that means your not P, not Q statement is false. Then true, true, we have true. Now, in the contrapositive, again, contrapositive is the, you just need to interchange uh, uh, the negate of uh, not P and implies not Q. So, we have here not Q implies not P. So, your uh, first statement or your hypothesis now is not Q and your conclusion or your second statement is not P. So, we have false, false, that is true. False, true, uh, uh, sorry, true false so your first statement is true your second statement is false so we have false false true that is true 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 that is true so that is the truth table of the conditionals or negation of conditionals now let's try to construct the truth table of a uh, not p implies not q so we have here uh the truth tables so we have p statement so that means uh, P and Q statement lang class 2 statement. So we have uh, 4 possible ano, answers. So we have your our P statement. We have true, true, false, false. And our Q statement, we have true, false, true, false. So let us find the not P or the negate of your P statement. So we have here, if this is true, then your not P is false. 
then if this if this is true your not p is false so false your original statement p so not p is true then false true next we will find uh, the not q statement so your original statement if this true then it is false so if this false that is true then it is true that is false and this false that is true now we can now find the not p implies not q statement so your hypothesis or your first statement is p st your not p statement and your second statement or your conclusion statement is the not q statement so false false that is true false true that is true true false again in conditional Ganit class, if your first statement is true or your hypothesis is true and your second statement or your conclusion is false, so that means your uh, if-then statement is false. So we have here false. Then true, true, that is true. So that is your answer for your not P implies not Q. Another example, construct the table of uh, not P or Q implies not q so we have here your p statement true true false false so your q statement is true false true false so let's identify the not p statement so we have here if true then false if true then false if false then true if false then true next are uh, not q statement so if true this is false so if this false that is true that is true then it's false false true next we need to identify the not p or q statement uh this is this junction right mo false lang siya when both statement is false the rest is true so uh, the rest are true so we have here focus not p and q statement so false true that is true false false that is false true true that is true then true false that is true now since we have the not p or q statement and also we have here the not q statement so we need we can now identify the not p or q implies not q so uh, let's focus the not p or q and your not uh not p or q and your not q statement so your first statement is not p or q and your second statement is not q so true false that is false false true that is true true false that is true a uh, false your first statement is true your second statement is false so that is false then true true that is true so this is your answer in your not p or q implies not q so you try to answer this one your this activity instruction state the conditional and converse inverse and contrapositive of the following statement discipline and diligence make a successful student an 18 year old filipino can vote so construct the ta a truth table of p and q implies q so you try to answer that one in your notebook and in the next meeting we will try to check that one so uh you try to study also what is or read and research about by conditional statement thank you so much for watching i hope that you've learned something out of this lesson please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends thank you so much everyone goodbye